Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with Haley, and uh, we are picking up mm, sometime after we left off. Uh, I've done some off-camera work, so let's go ahead and jump in and show you what I've been working on. I didn't do too much, you know, I didn't want to jump too far ahead, and I got to a spot, I was like, ooh, I want to show these guys this. Uh, so let's look at the quest book and see what I actually did uh, jump ahead on. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Alright, so I've only made in this uh, particular uh a section for the bees. I've just made the bee attractor. I'm going to show you how that works. It's actually really cool on how it works. And I've made an apiary, which is the beginning part of the bees. But um, what I really want to go ahead and be able to get to is that automatable apiary, which is just shown up here. So for those of you guys that watch my bee happy series, you pretty much know how that's going to work. If you don't watch my bee happy series, you really should <laughs> go ahead and watch that. But I'll, I'll, I'll talk through some things about this uh, automatable, automatable apiary. Uh, back over here in Life in the Forest, I did go ahead and complete the engines. I wanted to get the peat fire engine because it goes much faster. Uh, let me go ahead and claim that loot chest here. And um, let me talk about the three different types of engines here. So we had our manual engine uh, that basically you kind of have to keep revving up, you know, by clicking on it. And then you get some power and then it kind of stops there for a second. The second type of engine was the uh, biogas engine. And this is really cool because this uh, takes fluid and it can be any type of fluid really. I think it says, it says somewhere on here, biogas. Uh, let's see, engine, let's see, engine. Because it says something about milk. I want to make sure I read that. Uh, generates RL from organic fluids and lava. Where did I see that it said it takes milk? Somewhere in here. Wait, somewhere. Um, all right, I read somewhere where you can take milk or any kind of fluid. So the way this is set up, you put a little bit of lava in here. This is kind of your, your heating element. You can see it kind of uses a little bit of heat, but it does require kind of a constant supply of water, which I put, which is the reason I put this infinite water source over here. I can kind of just keep filling it up. Uh, I wish I really can get to some pumps. I know I have some pipes that work, um, you know, the kind of pumping fluid and different items, but I don't have anything that I'm aware of that can use um, pumps from infinite water sources. So I'm just kind of just set up over here so I can kind of keep filling it up. Uh, it generates just a little bit of power that generates 10 RF per tick. Uh, the manual one generates uh, zero. No, not zero. Hold on. It generates some RF per tick. I think it generates like two or something RF per tick. But the peat fire engine, this is the one I really want to get into. And I want to say both of these require a redstone signal. So if I actually turn this off, it doesn't work. Uh, so it does require a redstone signal to keep going. If I turn it on, it starts. Uh, taking that water and putting it over here and doing something with it and then it generates power I don't know what it is. <laughs> but the peat stone up uh, the peat fire engine does require peat to keep going and uh you'll get an output sometimes of ash these says it requires a redstone signal and has no fuel in it so this peat that i've been growing very slowly i don't know how to grow it any faster I could probably put more water around it that says 33%, uh, but the peat fire engine, yeah, it does generate a lot faster. So I have both of these engines currently going on the squeezer over here to give me some seed oil. So I'm hoping that this kind of finishes up pretty quickly because I want to get this last little seed oil here to show you the importance of seed hole in this whole entire uh, mod apparently. So you can see I've got all different types of seeds in here. I think we talked about last time how each one produces about 10 millibuckets. There's one seed that I don't have that does produce a lot more, but I've just gone through here and harvested all my crops, taken, turned them back into seeds and sticking them over here for right now. So we'll wait till that gets a bucket of seed oil. So the reason I need the seed oil, not only for the carpenter to make all of that, um, I need this to make the impregnated, I think it was impregnated casings or something, um, as well as the car, as the bee house, no, not the bee house. What was the thing I made? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was the bee attractor. Uh, I needed seed oil. The bee attractor itself also requires seed oil. So it requires power, which I've got here. So my uh, peat fire engine over here used all of this uh, juice to, to almost fill this up. I've got 90,000 RF just sitting here ready to go. So that's a good thing. You don't lose RF with it. It just keeps going. But if I put seed oil in here, this is like the coolest thing. Well, one of the coolest things I've seen here. Squeeze, squeeze faster. Uh, I need peat. All right, you know what? We're going to... We're going to manually juice this thing up. We're going to give it some power. Where'd it go? There we go. 
get over there. <laughs> We're gonna give this thing some power. Just, just crank it up, crank, crank, crank it up. I need to hurry up and finish this before the end of the episode. Boy. Uh, there we go. Nine ninety. We need one more to get a bucket. There we go. Seed oil bucket. So what the seed oil does? I guess this is like pheromones for bees because I was really surprised at how well this worked. I've I've worked. I'm doing bee happy, but we don't have a bee attractor in it that I'm aware of. Sorry about that. We are crossbreeding all of our bees to get our stuff. So uh, if I put the seed oil in here, I'm just going to right click on it. You can see this is attracting bees like almost instantaneously. We get uh, several bees in here and it uses all that seed oil in there. Oh, I'm out of inventory. So you can see in our chest here, I've been gathering up some bees. Uh, just from by putting seed oil in here, I think this is the third or fourth go around in here. So to give you an idea, uh, we get six bees per, was it six? Let's see, yeah, six bees per, and I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 18. <laughs> so I've done it three times so far. So that's what I worked on in between episodes. I got the engine going. Um, I'm just looking for a way to get more seed oil and kind of keep the power going. So I know there's probably still other forms of power. I have not, let's see, I have this other redstone engine, I think. Where did I see that? I have a engine. Yeah, I have this redstone engine from Buildcraft. I don't think, I think I even tried this in maybe even last episode, that I can set this down. Yeah, I can't set it down to connect to the uh, the bees unless I actually put something on top. I can try that. Hmm. Let me see something. Oh, give me my dirt. Let's see. Huh, who needs power? That needs power. Who needs power? No, they all need power. If I break it, will I lose the power on this one? Oh, it's got juice in it. Uh, uh, it's got juice in it. Everything's got juice. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Well, I don't. Hmm. If I lose power on it, lose power on it. If I set that on top of there, and if I put a redstone signal here. Yeah, it does nothing. That's absolutely nothing. I don't even know how the redstone engine works. I probably, I know it requires a redstone signal, but it's just uh, for show right now. So uh, leave a comment down below, guys, if you can get an idea of how much, how I can get better power. I just lost all the. Oh wait, turn it back on. Okay, it'll feed the power into there is all the power I got. But, you know, still it's 46,000, so it's about halfway full. So when we get some more seed oil from what's going on over here, see I'm already out of water over here again. I need to find a way to get water pumped in here to automatically to get power going. I need a way to get more bog over here to get power going just so I can get the seed oil up and running. Now, let's look at what we want to do so remember we're trying to get to chickens that is the goal to get to the chickens and to get to the chickens we have to uh complete this quest line which is eight bee collector jars and the hearty breakfast so we're going through the bees right now the hearty breakfast is going to be a grind the whole thing is really a grind but let's go ahead and remind ourselves what the collector jars require which is kind of why I'm going through the bees. Where is it? Collector jars. Okay, glass, not a problem. Uh, nether quartz, not a problem. Slabs, not a problem. What's the problem is this unusual pollen. So the unusual pollen comes from a supernatural bee. Now, uh, the supernatural bee is one of those special bees. That's why it's flashing in, the, in a pretty color. Um, but it's pristine stock, whatever the crap that means. Uh, and it only has an 8% chance of producing unusual pollen in the apiaries that we have. So we're going to have to do some breeding. And we'll talk about how to do that breeding here in just a second. Again, you should really watch my Be Happy series. Uh, but we're going to have to find a charmed bee and an enchanted drone in order to get a supernatural says it's an eight percent chance uh better success between winning gibbons and winning crest what the crap i have no idea what that means <laughs> uh but even to get the charmed bee we're going to need 
a cultivated princess, and an elder drone. Now let's take a look at some of the bees that we have gotten so far. And we'll talk about how we're going to do breeding with the stuff that we have. And we'll look in the book and see um, if there's any quest items that will actually help us with that. So we got a marble drone, rocky princess. Let me sort this. <laughs> marble, rocky, embittered, water, rocky, meadows. The bells on there, uh, forest, embittered meadows. We got two meadows, so we can actually make some meadows, uh, drones here if we wanted to. Um, rocky and embittered. So we got embittered drone and embittered princess. So we can actually make a queen, uh, from that. We have oh, two embittered. Oh, apparently these are two different types because they, they don't stack to see that we have a metals princess and a metals drone actually let's put that there and we have a rocky princess and a rocky drone so we can make three different types of queens right now and all the queens do is they produce drones and they also produce whatever their drops are so for example the rocky um let's see the rocky queen the rocky queen will produce uh, rocky combs, which can be used in making apiary chests, which is pretty cool. We might use that. Uh, it can also be used to make beeswax and honey drops if you put those in a centrifuge, which is actually one of the quests that's coming up. So we're trying to be able to, so we have three types of bees right now. Nothing that we need. Was the metals one the one that we need? Hold on. Pollen cluster. No, wait. What was it? <laughs> uh, what was that thing? It was a bee... The collector, I'm telling you, short-term memory. Unusual pollen, there we go. Supernatural, uh, charmed, which requires cultivated and eldritch. Cultivated requires common and forest or common and metals. Now, the breeding. Now, we have our first apiary. And what we're going to got you go ahead and see here. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, let's, hmm. let's just take our metals princess and our metals drone, and we're gonna make a queen. And it's gonna tell us some things about it. So metals princess, metals drone. So this is gonna turn into a metals queen. And this queen is very picky. She needs flowers. So we're gonna go ahead and put some dirt over here, which I have one piece of dirt, perfect. Um, now I don't have this yet, this is actually a quest item. Uh, there is a bee analyzer that will tell me what type of flower she actually needs. So let's go back to the bees quest, and that quest actually isn't open yet. Oh, good grief, I am not prepared. Uh, but, but see, this requires honey. So we, we're going to have to start getting some juices here. So let me go ahead and get a basic flower. Because I know metals is really easy. Uh, if I put a, a basic flower, which I think I have some dandelions or some poppies uh, somewhere over here. Are we full? Yeah, we're not full. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of dandelions. Let's put a dandelion over here and see if it makes her happy. Bees, they have to be tended to very care. Okay, so it seems she's happy right now. Let's make it daytime so she can uh, she can do her stuff. Let's take a little nap. I'm glad I made that bed earlier. Bees, they require so much attention. All right, and so hopefully this little this little lady here, this metals queen, she'll start doing something. Let's see. Um, what's a jungle flower? Okay, uh, right now everything seems fine. Temperature's good. She's not asking for anything. Well, matter of fact, we've, we've got bees flying around the little flowers. She's trying to pollinate. Uh, let me stay back a little bit because they will sting, which actually brings us to one of the other quest items. Is that even open? What is open? What quests are open? Oh, get up there. Uh, it's not open yet. Okay, so we need to be able to make an apiary outfit. So when these little bees, let's see, I think they sting. Let's see. Oh, you don't sting. You're not too bad. Uh, maybe my armor. But there are some bees that will have some effects that are going to require some apiary stuff. So, uh, I don't have power outside of these engines here. So, the industrial apiary... Oh, good. Why is that going so tiny? Uh, the industrial apiary... Uh, is not actually going to be very beneficial right now. What the industrial apiary does, it allows you to put these little upgrades in. Automation upgrade, lifespan upgrade, and production upgrades. So that basically, and a jewel, genetic stabilizer upgrade. Um, what this does, it allows us to 
not have to worry about babysitting this bee essentially so when this queen bee dies she's going to produce she's going to leave behind a princess the next generation and usually a drone too so you can take those two put them back over here and make another queen and keep right on going uh production upgrades must of course make them go faster uh produce more items and what's the other upgrade lifespan upgrades make them live longer so they can produce longer as well so those are pretty good upgrades now with the basic apiaries, there are also like upgrades for those. They are called frames. It does not look like there are quest items for those. So we might just skip over that for now. Um, but we're going to be looking to get that. So we're going to have to get more seed oil in between episodes. I mean, this is a grindy part of this quest. Uh, but at least it gives me something to work towards. Uh, we're going to need more seed oil. So we're going to have to do more squeezing of all our seeds here. We're going to need more, um, to, to, that'll make us more bees. And hopefully we'll get the right bees to start doing some breeding. Now, speaking of breeding, I've, you know, I haven't really bred anything new. Um, if I get a princess of one of the bees that I need I can breed it with any drone and it should turn that princess into a queen so that queen can start producing so if I happen to get a princess of the ones that I actually need to make the unusual pollen I might be able to get lucky that way so bees are going to be a grind be prepared for a lot of off-camera work and then coming on and talking about what I did off camera now the other part of the quest let me clean up my inventory a little bit because I want to open up some of these loot chests I might get lucky uh <laughs> I might we'll see uh let's put uh the flowers back up here stuck up buckets up there uh I was making more lava so let's put this up here and we'll put our wood and stuff here Oops. Okay, that's full. Man, I've got a lot of crap in my inventory. Put this back up here. Let's see, where'd it go? Down there. All right. Uh, oh, oh, we're going to have scallions. Let me turn these into seeds and drop those over there in the seed analyzer. Not seed analyzer, the seed, seed oil place. So let's put this back over here. All right. Now, I think that's all we can do. Um... Oh yeah, the hearty breakfast. So we looked at this a little bit before and I'm just going to probably start growing individual items for these. Uh, the toast is going to be the easiest thing to make. So the toast requires bread, which is going to require some of this bakeware. Now remember we did open up the Master Chef quest, but we have not really gotten into it to make any of the, of the things. Oh, there's uh, edible honey. Uh, to make any of the cool stuff. So I'm, because uh, I'm going to kind of skip ahead, there's a quest for bread here, which requires the most basic ingredients, which requires cooking utensils. So let's go ahead and look at making these items. Uh, we're going to need a cutting board, a pot, a skillet, a saucepan, bakeware, mortar and pestle. Oh, good luck. So lot of stuff. Uh, I know I need the bakeware. So let's go ahead and see what materials we need to make the bakeware. And I'm, I guess I'll set up a kitchen somewhere over there by the food area, maybe behind uh, the last of the food. So bakeware, B-A-K-E-W-A-R-E. Bakeware is a bunch of clay, uh, excuse me, a bunch of bricks, which is basically clay. Now, you guys remember how we got clay? We take dirt and we infuse it with some water. And I got regular dirt here from our bog old, our bog situation. They're kind of going hand in hand. Let's smack that. And we'll get this cooked up and turn those into bricks. Ooh, got bronze there. We gotta have bronze over there. <laughs> Let's get that cooked up, turn that into bricks. Got more bronze there. And uh, we'll have our bakeware set up. Let's see what's one of the next things we need it for utensils. Um, I'm just gonna start at the bottom of the way up. A juicer. Oh yeah, juicer gives us op op uh, optional fruit, food. Juicer. Um, let's see, so I'm gonna take a stone over a stone pressure plate. Make a stone pressure plate. Is it just two of those? Yes. All right. So I got stone pressure plate over. Need to put some stone on top of it. We have ourselves a juicer, which means we can make the cheap apple juice, and that gives us another form of food, which is good because I'm hungry. And look at that. We got our extra heart on camera. So happy. 
first extra heart. Those are the first 50 pieces of food we have eaten. Finally. Uh, 50 more to go. Get some more. Okay. So we have, so we can juice pretty much anything. Whatever. We can get watermelon juice, pumpkin juice, I think. Uh, strawberry, kiwi juice. Now with the juicer. Let's see uh, how is our bake we're cooking up here. Ooh, good last piece. Uh, let's see. We also needed a skillet. I think was it called a skillet in this? Yeah. Oh, two more pieces of brick and a stick. Okay, let's go ahead and make the bakeware and we'll make some more bricks with the clay that we don't have. <laughs> There's our bakeware. Uh, we're going to turn this into clay and we'll get that cooked up. All right, while this is cooking up, let me go ahead and open up the loot bags that I have. Uh, so I have some I haven't claimed yet from the, what quest do you? I think it's from the B quest. I haven't claimed those. Yes. So let's go ahead and get our loot chest there. See if we get anything cool because we are at the end of this episode. Can you believe it? <laughs> so much stuff to do. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Colored lens. Uh, speaking of seeing. Ha! <laughs> from Astral Sorcery. I'm looking forward to getting into that one. A magic bean from Random Things and a block of diamond from Chisels and Bits. You're not a real diamond. You are. You are a uh, troll. Stupid block of diamond. <laughs> I remember that last time. All right, we got our, our things there, so let's go ahead and make our skillet. We need a stick and two pieces of bricks, which is weird. Oh, look at me that. All right, we got one skillet cooked up here, and let's just take a look at some of the other ones. I know we're at the end of the episode. Um, again, I'm just going to be doing some quests off camera uh, because there's so much stuff that needs to be done here. A uh, pot and a cutting board. Let's go to cutting board real quick. Cutting board requires... Oh, perfect. I have all of that. Uh, get out of there. One cutting board down and then a pot to cook the kettle. I don't know. Uh, what pot is that? I don't find the pot. Was it just called a pot? Yeah, it's just called a pot. All right, well, I want to find this real quick. I'm so close. Pot. YouTuber blindness is real, guys. I know I've passed over it like three different times. Uh, let's see. Now I'm just hoping to see something that requires a pot. No, you require a skillet. Not a potato. Oh, pot. There it is. Uh, four bricks. Okay, so we'll have to come back and get some more of that. Anyway, let me go ahead and say thank you guys. I hope you're enjoying the episode and are enjoying this series. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, and just want to say hi, leave that comment down below and you guys feedback, you know, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you're new to my channel, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show me some love, click some likes and all those fun little things there. Uh, I've got a lot of new subscribers recently. You guys are totally awesome. I think you're kind of interested in what's going on. So that is what kind of makes the world go round. <laughs> that makes me happy for sure. Uh, if you want to uh, hang out with me as well as the other squad members, be consider becoming a Patreon. That link is listed down below. All the cool rewards are there so you can see what it's all about. If you are looking for a server to play on, be sure to head over to Host Havoc. Host Havoc is what we use for all of our hosting uh, network usage. The We have a, a link down below that will take you directly there. Back. Ah, stupid comment. It will take you directly there, so be sure to check out that link down below. They do uh, web hosting as well as game hosting for other games besides Minecraft, so be sure to check them out. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff I'm probably forgetting, but you guys know the routine. Check out Twitter and Twitch. Follow me on Twitch and, and Steam, not Steam, uh, tw Twitter to be notified when I do go live so you can watch me hang out with the other squad. We play on a squad pack, mod pack server on the weekends. All right. I think that's enough. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one, guys. Bye.